formed a bond with these guys. Oh, they're, they, they're crazy about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have friends in the yeah. IRS. Yes. It really is. Yes. How are you doing? Really good. You just got jet lag. A jet lag because you had a long trip. Uh, you yeah. were in Vietnam. And Laos and Cambodia, and it was amazing. Amazing. And a great trip? Yeah, yeah. I know it's dumb because it's been like 40 something years, but when I hear Vietnam, I just I, I, I just think of the war, you know, and I'm sure they've for the most part moved past that, but it's, I haven't. It's very Yeah, it, <laughs> it's very poignant, you know. Is it? And yeah. I, I don't know if you watched the Ken Burns documentary, documentary, you know, it's it was a tragic time all around and to meet a people that you know it's so difficult to talk about because we lost friends or friends lost friends right. in the war. Americans, Relatives and yeah. And 50 some thousand people died. Three million people died in Vietnam. Uh, so you, you're meeting people, by and large, 70% of the country, I think, is, uh, was born after the war. So oh, interesting. everyone oh, is young country. It feels like it's moved on. And uh, they are so gracious and sweet and kind. And it was really, f I know it's, uh, I'm like a recent convert because I just landed, but right. it feels like a, a trip of a lifetime. Really I think like it's great to go there and to yeah. tell people about it because that is something that, that we need to know, I think. Yeah. You know? Oh, it is. Everybody I know who's gone there said it's the most beautiful, amazing part of the world they've ever been in. Were you on a tour of some kind? We were, but it was uh, our friends Jim and Penny found this uh, tour group called Journeys Within. And we had one guide, it was just the four of us. His name was Kwa, and we went all over Vietnam. And it, but they take you to, we ate uh, street food. We went to people's homes and ate. We were in the fields watching people farm. And if we went to a nice restaurant, it was it was a restaurant that was taking people off the street, kids, young people, training them how to be part of the service industry and then getting them jobs in hotels. So it was all purposeful. It was all about, here's the real Vietnam, not an arm's length. Roll That's great, yeah, because a lot of times you'll go to yeah. a country and you stay in the hotel the whole time and then maybe you, you see the yeah. sites that everybody sees. Yeah. But you went to people's houses for yeah, dinner? Yeah, yeah. Did you ask them if you could come or did you just show up? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out Qua had about a million cousins. I so, see. Okay. So, you know, we went to people that he had, they knew and had been there before. And we, one outstanding one was, uh, and it was the day after we'd been to the tunnels of Kuchi, which were where people, uh, the, the Vietnamese did these tunnels during the French and then during the American War. There would be these tunnels where they would live in. Un, you know, three levels going down, and they would live in and then come out and fight and go back. And we met this man who was a general after the fact. He uh, had lost an arm and an eye uh, during the war, and the woman who nursed him to health in the tunnels became his wife. They had two children in the tunnels. They lived there for four years. I mean, it was so incredibly moving. And one of the, th we kept saying, how do you feel about us being here about Americans. And he said one of the things that he walked away with from the war was what he really, really needs now is friends to talk to. That's all he wants after that whole experience. Wow. Was, I want friends to talk. Wow. Yeah. That's, that is amazing. <clears throat> yeah. Incredibly moving that they could, you know, it's a lesson for all of us, you know, to be able to move on with... And uh, did you tell him, I wasn't on Friends, I was on Cheers? <laughs> <laughs> or the... Well, no, no! No! All right, here's the real truth I have about to ruin everything. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> it's totally to the point. No one oh, recognized good. me, Jimmy, for two weeks. Oh, oh, well, really? I, I came down with, I don't know what, I was dizzy, <laughs> I was disoriented. <laughs> And then, and then <laughs> no got selfies off. or anything? No. You live on those. You subsist I know, on them. <laughs> I know. I was confused. Who am I? Where's my ego? And, and literally, I think by the end, I'd been scrubbed clean of my ego. And we flew back 22 hours. I literally ran home, changed in a tuxedo, and went to the Critics' Choice Award. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I was happy. I can tell you my, my ego flooded back in.
Yeah, they did, yeah. The British great. had chosen you to be there? Yes. But speaking of being washed clean, you sent a, uh, a video from the trip. Yes. And, well, let's take a look at this video, and then you can tell us what... So where, where are you here in this? Uh, this Buddhist monk uh, was uh, blessing us and washing us clean of our, uh, our stuff. You notice there that Mary had more stuff than I did. She, yeah. Uh, she, she needed really more washing. Needed it. Yeah. <laughs> when we went there, you had a choice. Listen, hey, he tied this on me, this amazing man. Um, it's, it's an amazing trip. I really. You think you'll keep that on until, until it, it falls off? Until it falls off. Yeah. Or my ego. Yeah, right. <laughs> Unless it gets in the way of an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "You can just be, have. A, I can sprinkle water on you if mm -hmm. you feel like you're basically in good shape. Or we can do that." And Mary and I went, "Ooh, yeah." Give That's us the what we full want. Monty. Yeah. And you think he goes back to the office? He's like, these dummies, they took the whole pan. They were soaking wet at the end of it. <laughs> if you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh. Oh, oh.